For nearly 20 years, we've been saying the same thing on the 19th of every month. Pick up the phone and call your buddy. And we've done it because you matter to us. Now, we've lost friends and family to breast cancer along the way, but stories like today's are why we will never stop reminding you of the importance of early detection. I mean, I knew he was going to respond, but just not so fast. It all started with an email. When I sent you an email, I didn't tear her right then. I, I had to figure out a way to, <laughs> believe it or not, I didn't think he was going to respond right back. But how do you not respond when the subject line reads, love for my sister? I didn't get a chance to say, well, sis, um, while we were drinking coffee and talking, <laughs> girl, I emailed Darcy. And I emailed her back because Sabrina Chestnut made it very clear. So this is going to be her treatment room. Someone needed to hear Juanita Orr's story. Sit right here for me. She said, um, Ms. Orr, your test was, and I'm sorry. That. She said your test results came back. And you have stage two breast cancer. I got diagnosed in January of this year. She, she, I said, you got to tell your story because mm -hmm. somebody got to hear what you're going through because mm -hmm. it's somebody else that's going through this that needs to hear. And I don't want nobody else to go through what I went through. We're trying to keep it a secret. When your lips are sealed because of fear, that's when your sister uses her voice. Even though they're not connected through a bloodline, their bond is a lifeline that can never be broken. We've been knowing each other for what, been, about 20 years. And we, so, this we, is my <laughs> sister, and I, I'm not going to put it no other way. If she had not dragged me on Buddy Call to go for that first mammogram, I promise you, I wouldn't have been doing mammograms. When I first started doing the Buddy Call 19, it was you. That, exactly. And that's when I called and told her about it. We can hear you, see you, talk to you at all times. As Orr prepares for this next phase of treatment, she's confident there's a higher calling on her life. But I sat on that bed, and when, when God spoke to me, and he was like, I gave you a test to have a testimony. That's right. But now he's scared to testify. It was just nine months ago. She was afraid to speak out. But today, her story will save a life. Today, Juanita Orr is your sister. She saved my life, and I love you for I that. And you. I can never repay you for that. <laughs> I love you, too. It's going to be OK. <laughs> she saved my life. Everybody needs a sister friend like Just that. Just like that. All right, folks, don't go anywhere. News 19 at 6 is up next.